is Nick Isabella and I'm the Dryland SD Product Specialist for Igus Inc. Today we'll be discussing the importance of zero backlash nuts and how to properly assemble one of our products. Upon receiving an Igus zero backlash nut, it will be zip tied together. You can first start by removing this zip tie and disassembling the five components of the nut. The five components of the lead screw nut are the top half of the nut, the washer, the torsion spring, the red lock collar, and the lower half of the zero backlash nut. We recommend disassembling this prior to assembling it into your application. This will ensure proper assembly. First, you can start by taking your red locking collar and your torsion spring. You can insert the torsion spring into the locking collar and compress this into your fingertips. Once this is done, you can then take the threaded portion or the lower portion of the zero backlash nut and thread this onto the locking collar. This can get screwed down about half to three quarters and you're going to want to insert the bottom portion of the torsion spring into a small hole that's located on the flange of the zero backlash nut. Then you're going to want to take the locking collar and you're going to want to screw this down, tightening the torsion spring. Then you can take the washer and insert this over the locking collar. And the final step is putting the top half of the zero backlash nut onto the system. You want to ensure that this is held together tightly prior to inserting the lead screw into the nut. And that is how you assemble a zero backlash nut. Thank you for watching how to assemble a Drylin zero backlash nut. If you have any additional questions, you can contact myself or you can visit the IGIS homepage. Thank you.